Here's our complete physio top five tips for patients that have ruptured their Achilles. Tip number one is you've just got to be patient. These injuries do take a long time to get better. And even professional athletes, it takes six, nine months to get back to full function. So you really do need to be patient with yourself. Tip number two, although it's gonna be very tempting when you come out of the boot, you must not do these calf stretches. This potentially will lengthen the tendon and mean that you can't generate the force later on in your rehabilitation. So calf stretches are a no-no. Okay, tip number three, you need to be really compliant with your exercises. So you're gonna start off with double leg heel raises. So nice and slowly lifting up, and you must make sure that your heels go really high. Once you can do that, you can then walk on your tiptoes. As a progression, you're then gonna do a single leg heel raise. And again, concentrating on that heel height and slowly lowering down. Tip number four is to carry out the exercises that you've been prescribed really slowly. So if we lift up both heels, which is called a double leg heel raise, if we take two seconds to go up and two seconds to go down, we're gonna make sure that we work the muscle really well. We also need to make sure that we keep the heels up really high. So try and get the heels as high as possible when you carry out the exercises. And this is the same for when your physio progresses you onto single leg, is make sure you're carrying out those exercises nice and slowly, two seconds up, two seconds down, and try and get that heel as high as possible to ensure that you're working the inner range of the muscle. Tip number five is a way of assessing your calf strength and therefore your progress. By doing a simple calf raise test, you should be able to do 25 to 30 repetitions in one go, taking two seconds to go up and two seconds to go down. And if you can do 25 to 30 repetitions, then you're making great progress and you're getting very close to being able to run. I hope you found these top five tips useful. If you've got any questions, then please don't hesitate to contact us at Complete Physio and good luck with your recovery.